another lightweight in spy 27 are you any good hey everyone claymore here again i'm in a different location right now in the eastern part of Davao region philippines all right so I got a new video for you today and that would be an unboxing what's inside this would be my uh, para 3 lightweight in spy 27 blade steel this was delivered by LBC our, our local parcel company here in the Philippines but it came from California USA via shipping cart it took maybe a month for this package to get in here but that that's how it goes because i'm here in southeast asia so it's a long way There's the box. What's in here? Okay. There it is. Good looking guy. All right. Still stiff. Mm hmm. Still stiff because it's new. So, this is the Spider Co. Para 3 lightweight in CPM Spy 27. I transferred location for a better lighting. And so let us inspect this brand new Para 3 lightweight. The centering. Oh boy. It's off center. Favoring the clip side. That is always the complaint about the lightweights. The centering. It's kind of stiff can't flick it I think uh, if I'm gonna loosen this pivot a little bit the blade will move towards the center because if you tighten the pivot screw it pushes the blade towards the clip side so I think I'm gonna loosen it a little bit this would be an easy fix other than that the knife seems to be in great condition I have no idea how SPY 27 will perform because this is the first time I'll be using it as this is a new one made specifically for Spyderco now here's a better view alright Check that out now back to the knives so now my para 3 lightweight collection is updated with the arrival of this spy 27 I also have the DLT exclusive M390 with red FRN scales I also got the is this is a sprint run the Rex 45 with a burnt orange FRN scales as you can see, I have acid etched this one. Right. And I also got this CTS BD1N in all black. I don't plan on buying that satin version because they have the same blade steel and same effort and scales color. I don't want duplication in my collection nor do i plan to buy that half serrated one so these are my four spider co para 3 lightweights for now i don't own a para 3 the regular one and why is that what makes me prefer the lightweights over the regular ones you see i collect pm2s 
and uh, when news came that they are going to release the Para 3 I was so hyped because um, I want my blades to be on the three inches of blade length and this PM2 is already on my maximum so when the Para 3 was released I got one I, I got the CPM S110V and uh, well it performed good but in the looks department I it did not connect to me because it felt like it was a chopped down PM2 the blade and the scales that's just my opinion all right so I sold it I sold my regular Para 3 when they released the the M390 with the red FRN scales and this is something that I bought because I, I love this combination when I got hold of it it felt so different it felt so different it's so light and uh, at first it feels like it's gonna come off my hand because of the smooth FRN scales this is much smoother as compared to the ones from the Delica but then as I used it as I carried it over time it grew on me and I said I'm gonna start collecting I bought this first and this is the next one and ordered this one and then finally here comes the Spy 27 so best thing about this is the weight because you can forget that it's in your pocket it's so light that would be because there's no liner in it it's kind of similar to that of the bug out no liner bug out though is lighter this one is less than two ounces and this one is like two and a half ounces but this one is pretty light compared to the regular Para 3. And uh, another factor for my preference is that this deep carry wire clip. I love this deep carry wire clip. Compared to the regular Para 3 where you got the clip position that when you insert it in your pocket, a big part of the knife protrudes out. So and the looks it felt that this scale is really it it made a difference when it comes to the looks so i continued filming indoors i wanted to correct the blade centering and improve the smoothness of the action all right it felt stiff when I removed these parts. Can't even remove the washer from the pivot. It's gonna need some polishing and some good lubrication there. Assembly time. Let's secure the pivot first. You're gonna need a size 10 Torx bit. I'm gonna put some frog glue paste on the pivot. Also on the pivot hole on the blade. There. Try it. It's time to put the washer. There's only one washer for the lightweight. Only on the side where it makes contact with the partial liner. Some frog glue. Alright. You're also going to need the size 6 
Torx bit. And on the clip, you're going to need the size 8 Torx bit. Let's put on the wire clip. It requires some dexterity to assemble this thing. I tend to be clumsy sometimes. Why don't we talk some more about this thing? I plan on making this a very short video, just unboxing in a little introduction of the other three but um, I already did a disassembly and reassembly so let's do some more all right I have improved the action already on this one um, how does it fare in cutting pretty sharp out of the box spy 27 first slices from the Spy 27. Impressive. Yeah. Good, good. The Para 3. Look at the ergonomics of this one. It feels so good in the hand. And the size is just perfect for me. If I grip it this way, no protrusion is him on the handle. And if I use the forward choil, just a little excess um, goes out of my uh, palm. So it's it's a good size for me. And this power three lightweight doesn't doesn't disappoint. Really, they're good, except for the blade centering issue because this one favors the clip side. Oh, this one too, the M390 flavors, favor, I mean favors the clip side too. Mm. Clip side also. I think this is the only one that's got an almost perfect centering. Well. I can deal with that, I can live with that as long as the blade doesn't touch the part of the scales I'm alright with that so overall this is a fascinating knife very light mm. and it's good with, with its easy maintenance you can use it on food preparation messy stuff just, you can just easily clean it up, easily disassemble it, and then do maintenance. Well, I'm thinking of using it right away. You know what this is? This is a dragon fruit. Weird looking fruit. Alright. Let's see some dragon blood. there hmm if some of the juices will get into the pivot you can just and if you wish to cleaning it deep you can just remove it disassemble it and clean it up no problem so that's about it that's about my Power 3 lightweight collection. I hope that um, in the near future some more variation will come out. So I'm gonna collect each one. I'm gonna I intend to keep my collection current and buy whatever power three lightweight version that's gonna come out. So bye for now. Till next time, keep safe, brothers.